All right, so we're here inside of our project casino locator inside the settings file. And we have a few markups to do on the settings, but before we do that, we're going to create our Postgres database. So we'll go back to the terminal. And I'm assuming for this project that you already have Postgres installed. You can check this if you're wondering by doing brew list. And you can see right here that we do have Postgres installed. So the way I like to get Postgres started is I'll do brew info Postgres. And this gives you a bunch of information about Postgres, it tells you what version you're using. And down here at the bottom, you can cut and paste this command and this will just get Postgres started. And as you can see, you can run it right here and then at any time you can press Control C and shut it down or start it back up again. So I like to do it here so you have more control over where Postgres is running and you can shut it down so it's not needlessly running in the background when you're not using it. So here I'll just open up a new tab and to get into Postgres you just do PSQL in the name of any database in your system so we'll do template one. This is just one way to get inside of it and so we're inside, we press backslash L, we can see all the databases that we currently have. Press Q to get out of here. And we're just going to create a new database by writing create database. And we'll call it casino locator. Semicolon. And create database. And boom, that's all we had to do. We have our database all ready to go now. So backslash Q will get us back out of here. And we'll head back into our settings file. So the first thing we're going to do is update our, update our installed apps and we'll include Django extensions, we'll include REST framework, we'll include cores headers, and we'll include our app that we created ourselves, Casino Finder. And a lot of these steps aren't strictly necessary right now, but I just like to do them now and get them out of the way. So also in our middleware, our course header, this is also required for our course headers. Course headers dot middleware dot cores middleware. Okay, don't forget your commas here. Sometimes this will throw bugs. You'll forget a comma and you know You'll spend hours searching for oh, for what's missing, what's wrong, why isn't it working? And it's often just the commas missing. So scrolling down, we'll head down into our databases. And here by default, they set you up with a SQLA database. We're just gonna get rid of that. And we're also gonna get rid of this default name database. Okay, so the engine we're using is going to be Django db backends post GraphQL scikit two. The name of our database is what we just created, Casino Locator. I believe that's what it was called. Hopefully, uh, user is the user on your system. So for me that's Peter Flynn. You also need password. Here I don't have a password so you don't need it. Host. Be resolved at localhost. And port. Just an empty string. Okay, so that's all we need for databases. So down here for static, we're also just going to set up our static and get out of the way. For some reason, Django static is a little bit tricky to get the hang of at first, but we're just going to add in a few things here, and I'll try and explain them the best I can. So base dir equals os dot path dot dir name os path abs path file 
And if I could tell you exactly what that's doing, all this the underscore file, I'd be lying if I said I knew exactly what it was doing. But uh, basically, it's just finding our base directory. Then we have static root, static files. And most of this is coming straight out of the Django documentation. They, they teach you how to do this. And finally, our static URL is the same. Static files, dir. Oops. No underscore there. This is another os.path. Join. And here we're joining the base dir directory with static. Okay, and that'll set up your static files. Like I said, if you want to learn more about static with Django, I, I suggest just reading the documentation and practicing it a few times, and you start to figure it out eventually. Finally, we just need to set up our cores again. Cores, origin, allow, all, strip, and cores, allow, credentials, equals true. So again, I'm not 100% sure what this is doing either, but um, basically cores allows for you to make web requests, and uh, we'll get into that later. Okay, so that, that's it for our settings file. Um, catch me in the next video, and we'll start setting up our model serializers and views.